And that's why integrity is one of my core values. Excuse me? Huh? Sorry? Why would you say something like that in an interview? I don't think this is the right fit! Hey, Sophie? Sophie! I heard you rehearsing your answers to those uh, scenario-based questions. So how are you feeling for that interview tomorrow? Funny you ask. Not great. I'm really nervous about getting nervous during the interview. I don't know about you, but interviewing gives me a lot of anxiety. What if they disagree with me? What if I don't know the answer? What if I say something dumb? My interview was tomorrow, but I still needed some tangible advice for managing my nerves during the interview. So I set up time with a career coach. This was very last minute to book a session. Fortunately, I found a coach who was available. And you are, ah, yes, Sophie. Hmm. So, Sophie, I hear you've got an interview. It's tomorrow. I'm prepared, but I get nervous during interviews. Nerves, hmm. We can address that. Do you know what triggers your anxiety? When there's tension or conflict. Like, what do I do if the hiring manager just straight up doesn't like something I said and tells me to my face? Interesting. I've read about this very anxiety. They may be probing for whether or not you're open to new ideas. So don't respond by arguing or over-explaining. Instead, use the get curious technique. The get curious technique is in that book? That's not important. What is important is that if an interviewer disagrees with something you said, ask them why. As they explain, really consider their perspective. I'm also afraid of looking like I'm not qualified. Like, what if the interviewer asks me a question that I don't know the answer to? No answer. Mm. Well, you definitely don't want to lie. <laughs> Hold on a sec. <sighs> Imposter syndrome. That's exactly it. If you straight up don't know, just admit it. I'm sorry, I'm actually not familiar with that subject, but I'd love to learn more. <laughs> but if you think you might know, you want me to take a second? Exactly. <laughs> You're not being graded on speed, so take a breath. It's okay. Organize your thoughts. Choose one single example. Once you have it, restate the question, set the context for your story, and go from there. Even if you don't have the exact answer, the hiring manager can see the way you think and how you approach problems. What else? Okay, this is great. My last question, what if I'm in the middle of answering a question and I don't like how it's coming out? You want to check the research again? Yes. <laughs> I think it was in that first book. <sighs> yes. <laughs> again, this is really about maintaining a level of high confidence. So if you're just speaking and jumbling your words and realize that you've lost track, you can say, let me rewind it back and then take a deep breath before you start again. But what if I'm halfway through answering and realize I have a better response? That's okay. Self-interrupt and then say, you know what, I think I have a stronger example to answer your question. Let me rewind. Honestly, being able to quickly redirect shows that you're capable of thinking on your feet. You make it all feel like a performance. Ah, oh, well, I'm also an acting coach. <laughs> all the world's a stage. So, did you find a career coach? Yeah, I'm ready for this interview. Good, cause I just got an interview and now I'm the one freaking out. Can you help? Phoebe came to the right place. <laughs> Even though that coach was a character, her advice was spot on and I got the job offer. Well, I got a verbal offer. Is that the same thing? I need to figure it out. In the next video, we'll break down the verbal job offer. <gasps> One last tip before you go. <gasps> ah. Like and subscribe. It's an antique and it's, uh, it's, it's from Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, for real? Okay. Yes. I was, I was told to make a big thing with the book. I will not do that anymore. <laughs> okay.